sometime in the next couple of months. Well, it has been called one of the most competitive congressional races in the country. Fifth District Congressman Tom Perriello is fighting to keep his seat. He's facing a strong challenge from longtime State Senator Robert Hurd. And Congressman Perriello joins us live. Congressman, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. First thing, I want to show you something. This is uh, on MoveOn.org's Facebook page. Uh, and a, do, we, do we have that? There it is. And as you can see, and I'm sure you know this, MoveOn.org has labeled you a progressive hero. They have uh, raised more than $100,000 for your campaign. The question I have for you is, the values of MoveOn.org, do they match up with the values of the voters in the 5th District? I'll tell you what people in the 5th District want. They want jobs. They want people who are fighting for the working and middle class. And the vast majority of my donors are individuals who make a middle class income. Senator Hurt has taken hundreds of thousands from uh, corporations and the super rich. And that's who he's protected in Richmond. And that's the agenda he's put forward. What people in my district understand is that for a working family, making college a little more affordable is a good thing. Making it a little more affordable to get health insurance is a good thing. But do you and think it, 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 it speaks well of you that MoveOn.org has so passionately uh, spread your cause across the country beyond the 5th District? Well, you know, I'm new to politics, but what I see in Washington is there are two choices. You protect the powerful or you fight for the people. And I think there aren't nearly enough politicians in Washington from either party who actually fight for everyday folks against these corporate interest groups that are there. And I think when someone that comes along who's actually fighting for the people, uh, other people want to have their back. And we've seen that from conservative groups and liberal groups. We've had the endorsement of the Veterans of Foreign Wars and the NRA an interesting uh, group of people. The Center to Protect Social Security and Medicare has also supported me because what they know is we need fighters who fight for seniors, for veterans, for working families, and not people who are going to protect the special interests. And unfortunately, that's Senator Hurt's track record. All right, we talked about the liberal groups. Let's talk about the conservative groups now, the Tea Party, obviously. And, and you've probably perhaps as good as any congressman in the country has seen firsthand the power and the passion of the Tea Party. Uh, you held a number of health care town hall debates where it was mostly Tea Party members that attended. Do you think the Tea Party is good or bad for America? I think civic engagement is good, and I think the Tea Party is positive because it's getting people engaged in the process. But it ranges in terms of people's motives. The Tea Partiers in my district, though, have a very tough decision. They know that Senator Hurt's not a true conservative. They don't like him that much. And the question is, do they hate me enough to overcome that, or do they back conservative candidate Jeff Clark, who really comes more in line? with their platform and position. But I think more voices in our debate is good. Uh, I really have a lot more respect for someone who passionately disagrees with me than someone who just doesn't care because people should care right now. The stakes are very high. And the stakes are very high. Do you think that Democrats who came out for you in 2008 are going to be there for you on November 2nd? Well, you know, we didn't just have Democrats. We had independents. We had moderate Republicans. What I think voters are looking for is someone with solutions. And we've seen in the two debates we've had so far that Senator Hurt can't name a single detail of what he'd cut in the budget, where he'd break with his party, how he's going to create jobs beyond things that fit on a bumper sticker. And the reason we've held so much support from independents and moderate Republicans, as well as Democrats, is that they see this split as being who's fighting for solutions, who's fighting for the people. And that's why we have such a diverse range of support. Last quick question for you. If Democrats retain the majority, are you going to vote for Nancy Pelosi as Speaker of the House? Well, if John Boehner's the alternative, there's not a lot of choice there. But, uh, you know, what I've done, I've been ranked one of the 15 most independent members of Congress, uh, and I think we need individuals who think for themselves. But you wouldn't support up. another candidate if the Democrats are in charge? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Those decisions are going to be made down the road, but uh, I'm very confident that I'm not going to support John Boehner for Speaker. Okay. All right. Congressman Perriello, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. All right.